OK. Now I'm going to do some clarification on the DAISY formula and the application. Uh, let me know if not able to see the screen, uh, the PowerPoint slides. You should be able to see the clarification of the DAISY formula and the application on the screen now. So let me know if you're not able to see or not able to hear me. Uh. All right, so um, we know that we have a DAISY equation. We have two types. Uh. One is uh, developed for uh, fully developed turbulent flow, which is developed from a chassis formula. And we have uh, our uh, heat loss here equal to uh, 4 FL divided by D and average velocity squared divided by 2G. So this is called DC Westbrook equation. Right, and this one is uh, this equation for uh, cylindrical uh, pipes. Huh? And also, when you look at major loss, uh, we have uh, DC Westbrook equation also. But this equation was uh, uh, developed using the mechanical energy equation. Okay, so when we make uh, when we make uh, two comparison, uh, so this one is for major head loss. So if you if I put these two equation uh, side by side, you will see that these two also call uh, Darcy uh, equation. However, the uh, the the structure that you see is a bit different. So I need to explain it a little bit. Yeah? So on the top, this one is developed uh, using the Chazy equation, where in the format of 4F. Four uh, friction coefficient here, divided by d, uh, l, and uh, velocity square divided by two g. And the one uh, established using the energy equation, we have f, l divided by d, v squared divided by two g. So um, you see the structure here a bit different. Here we purposely put the four f here rather than we simplify the two here. So there's a reason why we do not simplify. This four become two, all right? Uh, for your information, um, the equation here, the, the friction factor here, this friction factor here is called meaning, meaning friction factor or darcy Weber friction factor. While if you compare the above equation and the below equation, this one, this term, 4F here, equal to F below here, all right? Because on the top, this equation, this equation was developed using Chazy equation. And the F here, although um, in my slides, I use the same uh, denotation of F, but the F here, is known as coefficient of fraction rather than known as friction factor. Huh? And um, the equation on the top here, the F here is, is the fanning friction factor. So on the top F, this F is called fanning friction factor, while the below this equation is the F here is called manning friction factor. So if you compare uh, above equation and below equation, you know that this F, meaning equation, equal to four fanning friction factor. Okay, so if you make comparison, you will find that this F in um, this uh, major loss uh, head equation, you feel that you'll, you'll see that this F, this meaning fr friction factor, if you compare with the Darcy equation above, because this one developed from Chazy equation, all right, it will equal to four times of the fanning friction factor. Just let you know. Huh? So um, when you look at my slide, you will see two two Darcy equation, but their form is different. So don't confuse with this one, and um, they you need to be careful, especially in coming uh, midterm tests. Um, you need to be careful uh, to use, huh? So don't confuse with these two. 4F, the combination uh, of 4F, yes. If 
if we if uh, for the dark shift friction fraction if we hmm. use the f equal 64 over the Reynolds number that one you need to see uh that one you need to see whether it's lamina or turbulent so uh yeah so the ratio is have to use for certain uh, setting but uh, today we're going to focus on the general equation of these two because these two uh they are it, many people confuse between these these two why 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 uh, some textbook you see 4f here some textbook without 4f so I'm, I'm explaining this one to you so that when you read different textbook you will you will know and this one was not uh, clearly mentioned in the textbook that uh, that I show you in the lecture, All right? So uh, just 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 information uh, when you want to apply this this equation. So um, for the coming test or even for a final exam, I will recommend use you to use the second equation with delivered developed by the energy equation. All right. So because. Uh, I will show you. So because on the Moody chart that we use the F on the left hand side axis here, this is this is uh, the F here is the Darcy Weisberg friction factor. It's not the it's not the Fanning friction factor. Huh? So just just take a note. So if you want to in exam, if you want to use this one, you need to be careful. I will show you the steps. Huh? I'll show you the steps. So. I will recommend you to use the second one. Use this one to solve your problems because this equation straight away you can use the Moody diagram. Okay, the Moody diagram on the left hand side, the F here is referring to the Darcy Weisberg uh, friction coefficient. It's referring to uh, this one, huh? the remaining friction factor. This one, huh? so uh, there's a question on I think question on 29, your tutorial chapter 3. Um, let me check. Uh, question 20, 25 uh, in tutorial chapter 3, question 25. You will see that uh, this particular example, right? Uh, the answer is correct. It's, it's just that when I deliver the lecture, I didn't uh, purposely explain uh, the steps. So when you compare with the two Darcy equation, you were confused. Uh, so I think I need to emphasize a little bit before your exam because I think some of you you will you will you will uh, confuse. So let's say you want to use the the top equation with this four uh, f divided by d l v squared divided by two g. Let's say you want to use this one, and you calculate the Reynolds number, you calculate the relative roughness, all right? So you have the diameter, you have the the length of the pipe, and you have the velocity. Uh, from the statement. So let's say you, you continue with the uh, Moody chart. So you know that your relative roughness, uh, you, you do the calculation using this formula, you get 0 0.02. So you follow this line, huh? you follow this line. And then the Reynolds number you calculate is 1.4 10 power 4. So it's, it's 1.4 is about, about 1 point, very near to 1.5 here, right? So this is 1, 1, 10 power 4, 2, 10 power 4. So there's a half line between these two. So this is half. So 1.5, 10 power 4 here. So our Reynolds number is 1.4. So we are, we, are, we are looking very near to this line. Huh? So you draw a line which is very near to the, not, not on the line, but uh, a little bit to the left. You draw a straight line. And then from the right, 0 0.002 line, you made an intersection line with the vertical red line here, and then you draw to the left. You draw to the left, you will see there's a friction number on the left. From the Moody graph on the screen here, you will look at the number is between 0 0.03 to 0 0.04. And then you look at the division between these two numbers. You have one, one, let me see, okay, you have one, two, three, four, five. You have five slot here. So uh, one divided by five, you have uh, each each of the slot here, you will, you will, it will be 0 0.002, right? So this location tell you that your friction uh, friction factor by all these set statements just now, 
it will give you the friction factor of 0 0.032. Uh, this location will give you 0 0.032. Now, we know that on the Moody chart, this F is called friction factor. So we know that our, our equation on the top here developed from the Tessy formula. And um, one friction factor here equal to four uh, fanning factor F here. So if you want to use this equation, you need to get this number from, from the Moody uh, diagram here divided by four. So if you want to apply this formula, don't use 0 0.032 straight from the Moody diagram. If you want to use this one, you have to divide by four, you get 0 0.008, then you substitute inside there, this equation, all right? Then you'll get 4.89 meter. Okay, so just let you know that uh, you need to be careful uh, to choose which formula you want to use to, to find the head loss. Okay, both are valid to find. It's only that you need to be careful on, on the differences between these two, between these two formula. Okay, so in the exam, I recommend you to use this one rather than this one. Okay, but if you use this one, follow the step that I just show you, then you will still find the same answer for the heat loss. Okay. All right, so I stop the recording.